There are many features uh, of this solution and uh, many of them benefit the prosecutor's office. Uh, for instance, uh, you have uh, the ability of law enforcement, instead of them actually physically coming to your office to drop off a warrant request, they can do it from their office, which may be miles away, by accessing LEAP, which is a law enforcement agency portal. It's a site in the cloud where they can sit at their desk, enter in a minimal amount of information, and submit a warrant request, supplemental reports, and evidence to us makes it so much more efficient than actually drive into the office. So under, under a normal uh, system, we would have to handwrite a report, um, and even if we generated the report through the computer system, we would still have to print that information out, and it would ha have to make its way physically from our location to the prosecutor's office through some mechanism typically delivered by secretarial staff. And then we would have to wait for a reply from the prosecutor's office, even if they were to offer one, that would have to come back by paper over to the sheriff's office, and then we would have to disseminate that out into the field. Currently our office covers 540 some odd square miles with uh, four substations plus a main office. So for that paperwork to tr transit all the way from the prosecutor's office back to us and then back out into the field for the officer to get, it can have a significant time delay. We can now push that data electronically from our office right out in the field, in the car, to the office, across the street to the prosecutor's office in a matter of minutes. If we get an electronic prosecution or electronic subpoena from the prosecutor's office, we can then turn around and disseminate that right to the officer in the field. There's no need for us to take physical paperwork back and forth, and we can track exactly what the status of that subpoena request is in, in real time. The case status is, that is critically important to us because case status uh, hinges or directs what we're going to do with that case, whether or not it's still considered open, if we have to do any further follow-up on it, and it also has to deal with evidence disposal. We have evidence in our evidence room under the old system. We would have to hunt down what happened with that case after a certain amount of time. Now we get it back automated. It tells us what the status of the case is, and that allows us to expedite uh, disposing evidence out of the evidence room. The tangible benefits have not been measured by our agency. And I think, in my opinion, they're outweighed by the intangible benefits, which is the uh, ability to rapidly transmit information back and forth from the prosecutor's office to the sheriff's department. We're both law enforcement entities, and we're trying to perform similar functions. And before that, there was a division there where information was not flowing back and forth very well. And uh, through the electronic system, we're able to rapidly get uh, case management information back. We're, we're able to submit information rapidly to the prosecutor's office. Many times that's important on a rapidly evolving case where we're trying to rapidly secure warrants for somebody. They have all the information, the, the attachments, the extra documents that go along with packaging a, a typical criminal case are immediately available on their system to review and to push back to us. We can get warrant documents back to us so they can be immediately entered into lien. So it's, the, it's really the intangible benefits that maybe can't be measured in, in specific dollars and cents, not easily in ways that uh, stand out as the important features. I would tell other agencies that are waiting to or in the process of deciding if they're going to switch from paper to electronic format, what are you waiting for?